Hey guys, so in Stable Diffusion, we're gonna look at how to generate image with prompts. In this video, I'm using Stable Diffusion Web UI version 1.4. To run Stable Diffusion, double click on the file webui-user.bat. Once Stable Diffusion is up and running, it will give you a local URL, which you can type in the browser to access its web interface. By default, you start with a tab that says text to image which is going to turn the text prompt into image in stable diffusion checkpoint i'm going to select the version 1.4 in the prompt type some text that describe what you want to be in the image in this case i say that i want to have a brown cat in a forest and in this image i look like a river sunlight and green grass now select the batch size, uh, by default is 1, which is how many images you want to generate and the batch count is how many times, so let's say you say uh, 2 batch count then it's going to gen generate 2 times of how many batch size the generate image which is uh, 512 by 512 pixels then I select 6 for batch size, it's going to generate 6 images then click on the button generate We have generated six image based on our prompt, on a brown cat that uh, kind of look like in the forest with green grass. I don't see the river though, but they also have like a thumbnail for the image. The image are stored in the folder called output. Under that will be text to image dash image. This is the progress of stable diffusion. So when it generate image in the command prompt. The negative prompt is what you don't want in the image. For this example, a negative prompt, I say I don't want brown cat. So you can see the output, the cat don't have brown color. The sampling step is the, the noise process and the more the better. So the recommendation is uh, number 25 which should work for the most image. There are 19 samplers available on this stable diffusion web UI automatic 1111. By default we're using the sampler E-U-L-E-R-A. Uh, there's a uh, other sample that you can try out. Some will be a simpler uh, solver, some are more accurate but uh, slower. The option restore face, which will fix the defect on generated face. In this generated image, the gaze of face have some defect. Check the restore face option. Here's the result after the generated face being fixed. The tiling option, which uh, produces image that can be tiled. I generate an image with yellow dot and blue background. So when you play the image uh, multiple ones together, uh, it uh, produce a pattern. The high res fix option is to upscale an image. You need this because stable diffusion uh, native resolution is only 512 by 512 pixel, which is too small. The CFG scale is a primary control on the most uh, respective prompt. So number one is the value that we just say just ignore your you prompt, you know. And three is let it to be a little bit more creative in producing the image. And number seven is the balance. We say it's a good balance that uh, you kind of follow your prompt and also give it to freedom to generate, which is the default value. Number fifteen is uh, here to the prompt, and thirty is really strict follow that what you want write in the prompt. When you generate image, it have a seed number and each image generated, it have its own seed. When you click on the dice icon, 
you will set the C to minus 1, which is said that it will cause a new random number to be used every time. The green icon is to reuse the C from the last generation, so in this case you see that the C will match the one that we just generated for the brown cat. Use the same C number as the uh, last uh, generated image is good if we want to modify the image. In this case I want a brown cat to wear a tie. So I enter wear a tie in the same prompt. And in, as that you can see the image generate a cat wearing a tie. Click on the extra option that will give you an additional C menu. In this example I have two images. Each image has its own C number. I reuse the C from the selected image. I copy the first image C into the box saying variation C. For the variation strength, if you set to 0, then it's going to use the C value. If you set to 1, then we'll use the variation C value. To produce the transition image between the two C, you can adjust the variation strain from 0 to 1. If you want to save your prompt, then you can click on the floppy disk icon, which is Save Style. You will prompt you for a style name, and I call it Castle 1. It saves the information into this file called style.csv. When I open up the file in itself, I see that I have three columns here. So the column name is for the name that we, we just uh, save the style from the uh, home that we enter. And then of course I have negative from. Now in style 1, we can load the style that we just saved and then generate it. Now I say prom in style number 2. With both styles selected, uh, we can click on the clipboard icon which is say apply select style to the current prom. This icon read the last uh, generated prom. This icon add random artists into the prom. I have generated the image about a spaceship in the sky and when you want to save it, you click on the save icon The image can be found under the folder called log and image The file log.csv contains the prompt information The button send to image to image will bring you to tab image to image The button send to in paint that will bring you to the tab image to image and underneath there will be a tab say in pink. The button send to extra then send you to the tab say extras. The icon folder will open up the folder where you generate the text to image. The option make zip when save. When you generate you create a zip file. This file is found under the folder called log and image. In the image zip, you can see that all the uh, image that they produce placed in the zip file. So I hope this video is helpful for you to use a stable diffusion in the type of text to image that you generate image from a prompt. If you like this video, click a like, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!